Neon White is an action platformer all about completing levels fast as hell and uncovering the hidden truth about heaven. But behind a very simple premise comes some hype tech, a story brimming to the brim with lore, and gameplay that's just phenomenal and is unique. It was nominated for Indie Game of the Year last year and after playing it, I understand why. This game is sick and it's just one of those games that you have to play for yourself to truly understand what it's like. Well. What is Neon White? In Neon White, you play as Neon White. You get it? A sinner who got pulled from the depths of hell to compete in a competition to kill demons, where the victor is allowed free access to stay in heaven. Suffering from amnesia, he reunites with familiar faces from his past life, meets mafia-obsessed cat angels and other Neons, or sinners. Yeah, this plot is nuts. And all of that works well as part of this game's charm. The story on the surface may come off as kinda simple, but almost immediately becomes something so outlandish that even if I made the video an hour long, I possibly couldn't even come close to explaining everything. As you play the game, you not only learn about each main character's past, such as the dumb but lovable Neon Yellow. Holy crap, you got the freaking anime sword? I thought for sure you'd get one of those little guns like the uh What's it called? Like gnomes use? Uh, gnomes? Haha, <laughs> just messing, just messing. I know you're a badass. So why the hell? The violent and manipulative Neon Violet. You wouldn't really abandon a cute girl like- I know you don't remember, but you- <laughs> Mr. White? I- I was? And the cunning and mischievous Neon Red. I recognize her from before. Well, this girl is- you're staring. Quick, say something cool, White. That is a massive rifle. <laughs> Want a taste? But also how they were once connected to White. White is the only one who lost his memories, and throughout the entire game, everyone almost dances around him as to what their real intent with him is. And all this back and forth would have been annoying as hell had these interactions just not been phenomenal not trying to exaggerate in the slightest, but the writing in this game is just awesome. Sometimes it could drag a bit, but that's the nature of a game is told in the style. But other than that, the way these characters bounce off of each other and constantly toy, belittle, and hype each other up, it's almost too real. There were definitely a couple times I heard a character say something and went, damn, you really me, for real, for real. This style of visual novel writing really shined through the rivalry between the main character and the main villain, Neon Green, whose connections are so rooted into White's backstory you end up starting to hate Green just as much as White does. But how does this game play? Well, Neon White is a game in which you have to speed run to the end of each level. And when I say speed run, I mean absolutely booking it in some of these stages. Gotta get that diamond medal. Needing to defeat each demon in a stage before moving on, you'll find soul cards. Guns that could be used to help fight off the demon's invasion of heaven ranging from shotguns to rocket launchers. And everything in between. But what makes this card system even more unique is the ability to discard them for an additional effect. Using pistols to get an extra jump, submachine guns to stomp through the floor, you could even rocket jump with the bazooka to then discard it to get its zipline ability. There's so much going on, add in the fact that each level has shortcuts hiding in plain sight and it's almost addicting just how much you'll want to improve your own time. Combined with the amazing music and beautiful visuals, it's all just stylish and looks as good as it feels. It's fun, and it controls so well that when I messed up a run, I didn't even mind going at it again. I know I can do better. I want to do better. I ended up streaming this game the other day and I might stream it again because I'm now on a quest to absolutely master this game. Figuring out the optimal path to a level and trying to cut off seconds to your best time is a really fun experience. And if you're lucky and skillful enough, you can even beat a developer at their own game. This game is all about fast paced problem solving and using your quick wits to kill all the demons to advance to the next stage. And after completing a set of levels, going to the hub world to progress the story, play through side quests to watch memories, and replay completed levels to find secret gifts to unlock even more memories. 
As repetitive as it sounds, it never got boring or anything. Because besides everything I've already mentioned before, each set of level offers a new style of play. And each time you enter the hub world, there's always something new to learn, or some big plot twist that comes to light. And if you're a total masochist like I am, you can even play through all the levels with one life, allowing you to get so frustrated that you'd want to install your entire library of games. Look forward to my stream. Neon White was a contender for Game of the Year last year, losing out to games like Stray, and the fact that this game came from a studio that only has one game under its belt, it leaves me extremely hopeful for this developer's future. It's an amazing experience the whole way through it. If you ever want to get the chance to fight demons in heaven using assault rifles and katanas, I really recommend you do. I can't give enough praise to this game. Enjoy the rest of your day, and take care.